Welcome to the Sentai Review. We have to talk more about this Power Rangers movie that's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Why are we here today, Scott? Um, some toys, action figures were revealed. So we're gonna we're gonna look at them, or at least we should call this the first video since there's going to be lots more later yes, on. Yes, yes, that's a hundred percent true. So let's go ahead and drop the contact information and. Uh, we're going to do this. Hey, guys. I know you're about to get your podcast on, so I'll be quick. If at any time you feel like dropping your own opinion into what we're talking about, head on over to FandomNight.com and all of the contact information for every single one of our shows, including the one you're about to watch, is there. All right, guys. I'll leave you alone. Okay. So, here should we, we are. Should we go around the room? Yeah, go ahead. Do that while I get everything loaded up. Seth Lovelsario. Scott Action Jackson. Shane McCree, the... Proto guy. And we only have not as many pictures for the toys, but still it's gonna be It'll be it'll be a plus. Ready? <clears throat> oh, uh Reploid Bill William Bush, yeah, that's me. I'm I'm sorry. This So here goes. Toy one. Or rather morphing jewel things. Right, I'm done. I'm okay with these. Honestly, you I really, don't hate th- this. this is the, so these are the morphers. These, these were I re- think re- so. revealed with the helmets. So yes, uh, that looks stupid. Oh yeah, you hate those? You don't like those? Not really. I don't really like digging them. I'm not digging them. Why not? They're uh, they're pink, and red, and blue, and blue, and black, and yellow, and yellow. Mm, the yellow one looks like somebody threw up in it too. Well, you yeah. know, here's the thing. What's the thing? You yeah, got, here's the thing. What's the thing? Tell me the thing, because you just keep staring at me. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. Okay. Hey, okay, you have nothing to say. What? Because he sucks so bad, you got nothing to say. No, here's the thing. You're on the receiving end of Bill's thing. <laughs> you, uh... Yeah? Yeah. 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 Waiting. For what? <laughs> Probably <laughs> clearly your done, thing. Uh, what are you waiting? For? You waiting for my thing? Clearly, because you keep saying. Whoa! This episode has some features in it. Okay, so are we done with At these? At least it's not lickies. Next. Next. There. Is that better? Uh, Is that better? Congratulations! There's your toy. It's morphin time, Shane. It's morphin time. Look at that. Look at that, Shane. It's this is the time. movie morpher. You into that? Stupid. Check that out. Look at that. Check it out. Look at that. What, what do you think of that? I... No comment. You have nothing to say about that? Check that out, man. Those are power coins, man. That is three-year-old, man. These are, these are McDonald power morphing coins metal sphincter that's what it looks like <laughs> made of plastic hmm. and uh, coins like they yeah they came out of a cereal box they look no that looks so cheap as <laughs> shit like this that McDonald's. episode is going to be weird because we have a lot of people in the room without mm. mics and they all are seeing these pictures, and this time there's more comments than we normally get from the surrounding, because these, these are drawing attention, these toys. These suck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... These suck hard! I'm Spencer Robertson, I used to go by Kage here, and these toys look like shit. What? So far, you've shown me five <laughs> bouncy balls of different colors. Thank the you. yellow one looks like green snot. And this toy looks like a plastic metal hurricane sphincter with bouncy balls you place in it. Like if I throw if I throw the power coins, are they gonna bounce because they look fucking retarded? These they look, look like bouncy no, balls. These look they like disappoint you as bouncy balls, just like they disappoint you as morphers. These things look like terribly, ball. terribly aged, really shittily done in edible cookies. My nostalgia boner is flaccid right now. These look horrible. She has a boner. Not anymore. Uh, it's flaccid as shit right now. Like, 
Who in the right mind designed this shit? Fox. I'm full of. Everybody else has said By the way, this is Nick the Lone Paladin, and I had to Paladin. chime in because this is terrible. <laughs> this, I haven't said this shit. Is, However, hold on. Uh, I, will, I will say one thing. Can we at least do this? Can we warn everyone ahead of time? Go ahead. I bought I bought this uh, soundboard for six hundred bucks, right? Let's not use it for this episode, so the quality matches these toys. No. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh. Hey, Bill, you're gonna put one of them here on oh, the shelf, aren't you? No way am I putting one. No way am I buying this Are to add to me? my Power Rangers. Are you kidding me? That's display. your that's your birthday gift. <laughs> I, I will say this: the only thing they got right is the colors. No. no. Yeah, no, they didn't even get that. Well, there shouldn't be a green, to be fair. There's two reds. They're showing a coin in the morpher. Yeah. That's orange. Yeah, that's, just, that's just the light to show you that there's a light on the morpher. Then it sucks even worse. Next. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Yes! Look at that! That is... That is really. That's actually good. I like that. Yeah, I know. Isn't that isn't that the best thing ever? Yeah, look at that. that I'm so into that. Here we are again. Yeah. This is soundboard <laughs> and uh, microphones. Yep. Hang on. Hang on. No. Depending on what she looks like in the movie, that might actually be a well created toy. But she's an emo chick. Looks like shit. Yeah, but no, she's no, 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 no. We reviewed that movie. trailer. I'm not willing to jump on the idea that she's an emo chick no, because no. she was bipolar in the original Power Rangers and kind of a... Yeah, she was. Like, it would rain outside and then she would come in and be like, My day is so poopy, guys! And then, like, they would come over... They would even make fun of her in different episodes where it's like yeah. she'd sit in a corner and look all mopey and then they'd come over and sit with her and they'd look mopey for a second and then she'd kind of laugh because she realized that she was just being ridiculous. And, like, remember that time that she wanted to make a flower float for the parade? So Rita sent down a putty to slap the float. Yeah. <laughs> slap the float around and broke it, and she was like, My life is over! So it's not like she hasn't always been that person. I mean, yeah. as for this toy... It's it's, 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 a, it's a toy. Yeah. I can't make too many comments on that. Because on how the character actually looks in the movie, how well it represents the suit from the movie. It it could very yeah. well be accurate to what we're about to see. You can see a red ranger butt. Next. Oh, look at that. Look at it. That's pretty cool, Shane. Look Shane, it. this time it's not a trap. I know it's not a trap. Shane, I want to tell you something. This yellow toy is way cooler than the other yellow toy. <laughs> Shane, it's Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> you have the option between this yellow toy, yellow toy, or the other one. I would take this one. <laughs> I would take this one. Yeah, exactly. Next. Oh, you don't... Huh. With a morpher thing. Um, Why does the blue look bad? Is it just the pose they gave him? or It's, it's probably Because the, the toy doesn't look good. It's the lighting. You can tell from being inside of the case that it's in. Right. The lighting's fucking it up. I don't like hmm. it. I don't like We really got to pass that mic back. <laughs> this soundboard. I know they're barely picking you guys up. I don't hold the damn thing. I don't even give a shit about this. Yeah, <laughs> Seth isn't even talking. I don't like how the blue in their chest where it used to be white oh, yes. almost essentially matches the blue of his outfit. Yep. So yeah, there's no breakup that's... other than the black visor of his helmet. You know, it's yeah. To glow. What? The light blue on the dark blue maybe it's supposed to glow. Oh, you know. They could have they could have toned the dark blue down a little bit, I think, to make it more Next. Burnt. Oh, yeah, look at oh, that. Oh, here's, here's the black Look at it. Yeah. Check him out. Yeah. Look, that is such a good pose. We're doing this again. Listen. 
I'm trying to explain this. There is a soundboard with microphones. All the background noise, I cannot guarantee you're being heard. <laughs> like, you you probably hard Again. muffles in the background. Again. <laughs> I don't like that that is blue where it used to be white. And that's definitely being picked up. I... What you are doing. <laughs> I'm positive that that, just, that was just Thank a you, long you usher don't... of noise that was like... You just spanked it every, all over my every, voice. Every time he just he just held the mic on his chin for like six minutes. It wasn't on my chin. Like this, under his chin, and then he rubbed his hand all across the top of it while he was waiting for that last part to go through. So I have no clue what this episode sounds like right now. And we just made a promise that the next episode would have better quality. And there's background noises, people talking you can't hear. Yeah, but, you, <laughs> yeah, but you're showing pictures of things that people feel very strongly about, and you only have four microphones. I realize I that. Killing, motherfuckers. Guitar Center, another mic cord. <laughs> All of us broke motherfuckers can't afford it. Even myself is broke. That's oh, nice. I so how the how fuck nice do we is. get mics without money? Turn your head around yourself. Curious how that just you sounded. Irony money. here. Shame. There's the irony moment. here. <laughs> I has the monies this time's around. No, the irony is Nick has more money than Shane. Got enough money to buy this Black Ranger? Probably not. <laughs> I wouldn't buy that. The only reason I would buy that is to just flush it down the toilet because it's garbage. It it's probably weird. wouldn't go down very well. I was going to say, I don't know if it'll actually go down the toilet. <laughs> okay, look. As far as these toys go, it's really going to have to really going to have to wait until the movie happens. The figures, yes. I think we got to wait to see what they look like in motion. And then we'll know if these toys look good or now, bad. If those parts glow in the movie, like Nick Nick said, they probably will. Um, that's a very poor color to pick to put there because the Blue Ranger toy looks like a Smurf with sunglasses on and no pants. <laughs> la, 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 la. You know, I don't know why I just now realized it. Maybe because these toys are bad. But <laughs> you remember years ago, I'm going to have to take you way back with me, okay? A Power few, Rangers, a few minutes. the original Power Rangers are on TV, the flipheads are in the store. And if you had a family like me, every now and then you would make trips to that there dollar store. Re- <laughs> Remember the, the knockoff Power Ranger Remember toys. the knockoff Power yes. Ranger toys. Yeah. Look. Oh. Uh, doesn't range, that range look powers. oddly there familiar? Go, powers. <laughs> that they, looks like the knockoff Power Ranger they, they, toys that they sold at the they, dollar they store. They brought that company back because the company already had experience making these figures. I almost wish I had a picture of that. I'm telling you, I remember this when I was a kid. I'll have something odd to try and look up. <laughs> I don't know if you'll find Scott, it, but you know what I'm talking no, no. about? Scott can make it happen. If he can find random shit... To edit in these videos as post production <laughs> before they go up on YouTube, twenty bucks says he'll find it if not something close to it. Cause I'm telling you. Next, uh, hang on, hang on, go back real fast. Oh, going back. Uh, this picture makes it look like the Black Ranger is rocking a red rocket. Oh my god! <laughs> I just want to point that out. Anyway, <laughs> dog boner. Next. <laughs> Here's my question. If I, if I buy all five, do I get the shitty looking rock for free? <laughs> no. <laughs> rock, rock sold separately. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Next. The, the pegs that hold their feet in place are probably okay, poorly made, too. The helmet looks fine here on the figure. Aren't you supposed to hide shoulder joints in toys now? No. Apparently. Not when they're this cheap. <laughs> this is... Sweet, I, is this one of those Build-A-Ranger toys where I can just rip his <laughs> limbs off and put other ones on? Might as well be Man, at I this point. I can't even tell you. Every picture we go across right now, I'm remembering those knockoff <laughs> rangers at the dollar store. I'm positive they looked like this. Dude, it's probably the same company, and they finally got a new job when this movie <laughs> came out. Look at the 
Hey, we've made those before. We've still got the molds, dude. Well, hook us up. We got this. Next. He's and that's what the, the fuck is that? That's, that's his power, the power sword. sword. He's going to stab you with... And still, still looking this bad and being this shitty... And look shitty. at the box. Whoa, legacy collection, my ass. No. <laughs> what? It does. They cannot make this part of the fucking legacy collection. My ass. Does not belong as part of the legacy collection either. It does fucking say that. That means this is high quality for Ranger Toy. Well high quality made, crap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And you know what? It, this it's high quality to go inside your McDonald's Happy Meal. And I'm going to tell you something right now. That power sword, I'm going to defend it. Oh, shit. Wait. It is, this power sword is better than the power sword Rocky got. Yeah, he nice got story. he got none, cause he got none. Um, he was undeserving. The as soon as Rocky took over as the Red Ranger, the power sword was never used again. Yeah, uh, Sydney makes a point. I wouldn't mind owning the boxes. Yeah, the boxes, the boxes do look kind of neat. Cool. Good part of the uh, legacy collection. I'll, I'll I'll buy the I'll buy the toys, and then you guys can have the figures, and I'll just keep the empty <laughs> boxes. Damn it. Bill oh man! Now I'm looking at his. The helmet reminds me of Norman Osborn hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mighty morphin comb over, Bill. <laughs> Spencer, best addition to this episode. <laughs> I'm digging it, Shane. Mighty morphin comb over, Shane. Why? Why is this happening, Shane? Next. Because. Oh, that's even better. Uh, hey, look. Without it's a Comic Con background. exclusive. Wow. So you can. You sold this shit at Comic Con! <laughs> you can only. Exclusively? Get, you can only. Thank get God. Legacy Collection no Movie Red Ranger. <laughs> oh, there's more. From Comic Con. There's more. We're about to. <laughs> my voice is. I guarantee you, my voice is picking up right now. <laughs> no! For the love of God, no! You are showing up on the spikes. Next. Next. That's a oh, he comes with the coin! Oh, <laughs> Accessories! He looks pink in this picture. I thought that was supposed to be the pink ranger. No, 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 no. Second. It's lightish red. <laughs> Thank you, Donut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next. I'm going to be violently ill. Oh, he, oh, here's the power there's sword. There's a better look at it. That's full size for your enjoyment. Okay, well, there's... Okay, look. Maybe in the movie, that this sword. might be neat, because it's like the bone tail. I think it might supposed to be an energy blade, but you can't really right. give children energy blades to put with their toys. <laughs> I guess, Why yeah. Why the fuck not? Timmy, you cut Mommy's face off. Next. What? <laughs> Check this That's out. Tyrannosaurus. Check this out. Look, here, I I actually know how this was made, okay? They went, they got an original Tyrannosaurus power zord, right? They set it down, painted the painted it the different colors, and then lit the motherfucker on fire till it melted and stopped. Bill, on the plus side, the full face isn't glass. No, just the helmet where he's sitting. Yeah. <laughs> he place. sits... In the fucking head of the Tyrannosaurus, Look. which is now a window. Bill. So if the monster punches the Tyrannosaurus on top of the head, Alpha, get another ranger with attitude. <laughs> Bill, I just want to repair out. that window. I just want to and get the mop. With my experience, when it comes to windows, he'll be perfectly fine as long as it's not a crucial plot point for him to take one needle or rifle bullet <laughs> to the fucking top of the head. It's true. It's true. It, Fuck okay. you, Halo. So instead of <laughs> arms, he got two cannons? Is that what I'm looking at here? And a velociraptor foot for some reason. So that means his his fighting ability on its own is actually worse than the original Tyrannosaurus that at least had two arms but to kind of fight. But he got a big fucking cannon on his back. And chicks dig cannons. And he'll tail whip no, you. No, 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 Bitches no, no. love cannons. Bitches love cannons. Hey. This He'll is... use tail whip, but it won't be very effective. 
No, but he's got solar cannon. Okay, look, we've been doing this show, <laughs> and as this movie has been nearing, we've been covering trailers, pictures, uh, concepts, and general discussions, and I have tried as hard as I can to keep our show positive. And I feel like we've done a good job. Even breaking down that trailer, we were very fair you with the parts that, that with we with the parts that we attacked and the parts that we said this might work and this won't work. But these toys <laughs> are great. <laughs> are revealing things about this movie. Eight out of eight, mate. That great. worry me. Like this Tyrannosaurus. It looks like someone shit blood and they molded it. I'm I'm wondering if maybe, like, they couldn't sell all of the Michael Bay Beast Wars Transformers, so they uh, got them all together. Promised, I thought we promised <laughs> not to fucking talk about Michael Bay Transformers when I'm here. This is Sentai, not Michael Bay Transformers. Hey. He already took enough of a shit on my fucking childhood through four fucking movies. Let's not keep bringing it up. Oh, and let's not, not let's not forget about him producing the turtles. Look, okay. Next picture. Next. <laughs> there, that's better, right? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Look at the figure. Next picture. It's not that bad. So you like this Tyrannosaurus? It looks like they ripped the skin off the T-Rex, and that's its musculature. You like that? You think that to Zed too? But you think that's good? We thought that was. You cool. really think that's good, Shane? Yeah, doesn't bother me. Because you hated nine. you hated movie ranger costumes, and you're going to be okay with that? I'm a complicated person. Oh yes, complication doesn't even cover it. Uh oh. You know, I just finally came to realize something. This this T or Tyrannosaurus Zord. Looks more like if somebody had grotesquely attached cybernetics and de-evolved the elites from Halo. And then skinned them. And made them fucking gigantic. Yeah, that too. And then tossed a giant particle cannon on its back because why the fuck not? Next. Oh, look at the comparison. Look at this comparison picture. On the left, you have menstrual shit. <laughs> on the right. Oh man, that is horrible. <laughs> on the right, you have a real Tyrannosaurus Zord. Holy shit! But, as a bonus, you can fit someone inside the minstrel shit on the left, and it's got a cannon and two tiny guns on its arms, where its arms should be. I feel like this. Would upcoming... be a painful minstrel shit. No, I was going to say, I feel like this upcoming movie might have missed the point of the giant monsters kind of paying homage to the Godzilla stuff. Look, I get that they wanted to avoid the cheesy rubber monster costumes. But couldn't they have at least went right. for like, no, I mean like like the New Age Godzilla that America just did. That's not a perfect Godzilla movie by any means, but it is the best American attempt Especially after Zilla. What, dude? Godzilla 2000 with Matthew Broderick was so good. Wait, yeah, was, wait, you mean 1999? It was 98, I believe. Yeah. And so, I remember that because I d probably despise it worse than you because I own all 30, I own 30 plus Godzilla uh -huh. movies. Ooh, the good ones are the old ones. I have all yeah. of them. Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Godzilla vs. Mothra. Got it. I'm going to stop now because I'll keep going. I have Godzilla versus. This is Destroyer! Dude, it's so fucking sweet. Next so, picture. On the right, we have the Zilla tribute. On the left, we have, oh no, the shit all over Tokyo. Next. <sighs> what the hell is this? This thing? Right, That's the is the Megazord. Megazord. Right, hang on, hang on. Let me just tell you this. I recognize this, and you know who this is? <clears throat> this is Optimus Prime's homosexual cousin. Give my... <laughs> uh, so, uh, did anybody else notice on this that they've uh, decided to rearrange some shit? Yeah. Yeah. Now the Yellow Ranger's the dick. Yeah. And look what happened to the Pink Ranger. Oh, Pink Actually, Ranger's this sword means... has hips, so either it's a confused man, or it's, um... 
It's a hermaphrodite. Here's 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 the thing. Here's the thing. What did the what Bill's did he, just covering his mouth now, just what, shaking dude, his head. What did the old Megazord have that this one doesn't have? Are you talking about class, what? character, wait, 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 design? No, just, in, just in its build, what did the old Megazord have that this one doesn't have? Likeability. Physical features, Bill. A face. Hands. Yeah. No, yeah. it got it got that kind of wolf like hand that the that the Ninja Zord got. They they it, they're <laughs> blades, Bill. I it know. Can't grab anything. Well, you know, when it, you're... It, it can't have troubles trying to grab the sword. Well, to be fair, the Tyrannosaurus didn't have hands either. So I mean, it had yes, Clint, Clint Pinchy things. Did it? Did it have a little bitty hands? It, it had uh, the little T Rex yeah, grabby jumpy. claw. Yeah. 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 That Next. didn't go past his body. Oh, oh yeah, Bill. This, this Megazord has World of Warcraft syndrome. The oh. pauldrons are taller than its head. Yep. Oh. What do you got here, man? Remember when uh, I said about the price? The next image is going to show the price. Next. Why do before I feel like I'm about to, to light price, something on fire? Before we move to the price, get out whatever you've got to say about this Megazord. Shane, would you buy this toy? When I first saw it, I was thinking, that's a terrifying fucking thing coming out of the sky. It's much scarier looking than the original, I'll tell you that much. But uh, I'm more or less confused on the feet. Like, I don't know, like, the, the right like the right foot really bothers me. I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, it looks like it fucking lost its fucking foot and it's got an... The fucking foot yeah, bothers you? It, it looks like it's taking stuff from the first movie. I don't know. The foot is what bothers you about this Megazord? Shane. It doesn't bother me as much as you do. Shane. Guys. It's Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> you have a choice between this Megazord or our original Power Rangers movie with Ivan Ooze. You must sit with both of them and either sit through the entire movie or play with this toy for the length of the entire movie. You misunderstand. I liked that movie. I thought the costumes sucked. But he's okay with this Megazord. Now, the Megazord in the fucking movie sucked. That that was terrible. This, uh, but I liked the movie. I could sit through the movie. Here, here's, here's the thing, okay? Before we go to the next picture and we all get pissed about how much this thing's going to cost. Dude, I have a terrible feeling about um, the next image. You remember... You remember the old Megazord, how the Zords were like, they were they were connected, but they were all basically in one piece. Well, you could uh, tell how they connected? The, the, the Pink Ranger's pterodactyl's been ripped apart because its head is on the black arm and its wings are up there and it's got a yellow... Question, before we even go, before we, hold on. So you foot. got these images, so I'm just going to ask real quick, it has nothing to do with the price. Are these Zords, do they actually go together... Or is this a singleized toy? I think it's a single. And that would make a lot of sense to me, because as far as what I'm looking at, yes. there's no way those robots made that robot. No, you can't. You couldn't do this like the old combiner Transformers. There's no way. Okay. Do you have pictures of the other Zords in toy form? The only thing that I found was that Tyrannosaurus. It's probably the okay. only image they've released. So far. Okay. That's why we might be doing future I'm toys. I'm curious to see the others myself. There's no way those Zords connected to make this. All right, Bill. This. Next picture. Da, da, da. Hold on, I'm trying not to throw up. Do the next. Shame. I'm, next I'm being picture. serious. Okay. Next. Oh! Look, that's not as bad as I was thinking. <laughs> Look, I was thinking, I was honestly thinking. I said it wasn't going to be as high as the Legacy, so. I was oh, totally worth worse. it. All right. First off, yeah, looks ain't bad. there's a reason why you're broke right now. Because you would spend $100 on... No, there are more. Th bad. There are multiple reasons why I'm broke. But... We're not getting into that. Oh, yeah. wait. Um, Look at what, what some of that reading says on the side there. It's like, more set includes it. all five of combine. Yeah. So maybe it does. There is no way. I don't know. I have no idea how you take that Tyrannosaurus that I just looked at and morph him into this. <laughs> I got it. I don't even see that it's feasible. Some pieces are optional. Batteries not included. Does it? Sure wait, 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 wait. Where does it say that? It doesn't. It doesn't. Oh. I'm telling you how it fits together. 
that fits together by bring your own Allen wrench and hammer. You also don't Batteries know. are not included. And my fat ass is going to go outside and smoke. Yeah, because so I'd look at the power to sword. Girlfriend look at the power with sword. This shit right now. See it? Here's, yeah. here's, See the greatness? Here's the thing, Bill. You want to yeah. know how these Zords go together? You buy them all separately, right? And you're all excited because you got some new Power Ranger toys. And then you take a fucking hammer to them and glue them back together for your Megazord because that's the only way that's going to work. We don't know what the others look like, though, so... Shane, if they're in, if the Tyrannosaurus was any indication... Obviously, like obviously, if they say they go together, they go together, so... I you still just, don't understand how yeah, you're okay look, with what okay, I'm looking hang at. on. Yeah, that could very confusing. well say, morph together all of the Zords as, like, one of those catchphrases this for is, kids, because it's probably its own figure. Set includes uh, all five of what? blank combined. Could be the figures, because look, there's a figure right, right here. There. On the next on the next slide, which we don't have. That's very you're very true. Nope. No. A hundred dollars. Moving on. Somebody give me when it's time to score this bullshit. This Fucking a hundred dollars for this. I see it. Bill, I'm gonna tell you right now, I would be more likely to pay a hundred dollars for one of these single figures they showed. Than this, <laughs> I cannot believe Actually, for the life of me, and this is not a joke. I cannot fathom or God. understand in any way whatsoever that of all the people here today, you are okay with whatever the fuck that is that I am looking at. Okay, yeah, it's my biggest, trolling. It better be trolling. Uh, my biggest problem is. That's I've been trolling you the whole time. Good. The Except of- for the costumes. I honestly do not have with- that much of a problem like you guys do okay. with them. No, 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 no. Those they toys, not- I can't fully judge the figures till I see the, the costumes, mo- yes, yes, the rangers yes. in motion. They could be very accurate. No, Look, yeah. like the yellow ranger looked really good. The blue one, because of the lighting, But the toys, great, but- the guy figures do look kind of awkward. Sure. Seemed like the females got the better toys I out of this batch. I, I, well, I think I'm still the... Big Transformers guru around here. Yeah. Does that not look like Optimus, Fr- Optimus yes. Prime? From yeah, the it looks like yes. Yeah, it looks like Yeah, I was thinking this. I was thinking it as soon as I seen him, and he even has the new age dumb sword that was introduced for the. I'm sorry, yeah. the yeah. Bay movies. That arm sword that he had yeah. instead of an actual sword. Well, at least fair. they fixed that at one point. He that was the animated series. Never mind. To be fair, though, he had an axe in the animated series. It was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Did, Transformers, yeah. not Power Rangers. What do you, uh, Did he ask you what a question? You, uh, he asked me a lot of questions. You don't like this, do you? $100 for that? Dude, I, I this has got to be... Are you, I would are, you not. Di- are you dying inside? Is like the child in you like Dude, dying? I'm going to tell you something. I, I have been as positive as humanly possible I would, with okay. this upcoming Rangers movie. I've given it, I've given it every, every... The very first time that Rita pictures were released... Our site blew up, literally. Our Facebook went crazy. There were people on there calling her skank, whore. Sorry, talking about how bad it was, how stupid it's going to be. I defended it. When the Ranger costumes came out, and everybody said, Iron Man this and Iron Man that, and we don't need Avenger Rangers and blah, 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 I defended it. I said, years ago, Power Rangers brought to America were turned into superheroes. Superheroes, by the concept that we understand them, work like Iron Man. And especially since the storyline we came up with said that the Ranger costumes were a technology, if you take that series, and let's say all you did was hand it to a guy who never seen Power Rangers, he reads the script, and the script says... Four teenagers get a technology five. that turns... Yeah, that five rangers get a technology. The technology allows them to turn into uh, superheroes. He would say, technology. Like uh, an Iron Man. Like an Iron Man. So he built the suit almost like a Giver type of thing. So what you're saying is that Americans can't handle the mysticism that, that was really behind it. Well, there, there's proof to that. Back there's proof to that. It, there's, there's a lot of proof to that in the way that comic book works today. Because years ago, Infinite Crisis and things like that were created because somehow Superboy Prime was in, an, was in a sub-dimension where he was protected from the changes of reality that rebooted the universe. He got mad. 
that our universe wasn't working and that our heroes were failing. So he punched his way into our reality. And when he did it, it shattered the boundary, whatever mystical force holds our universe together. And it caused all these problems like bringing Jason Todd back to life. And when he came back to life, he just woke up in a casket and didn't know why he was alive and didn't know how he'd come to life. But because little things of time had changed through the breaking of reality, he was alive. That's mystical. Let me give you... Today, they can't handle that, so they dipped him in a Lazarus pit and brought him back to life because Let... that's somehow more feasible. Let me give you a, an example on the Marvel side of things, okay? Back in the day, everybody loved him a Spider-Man, right? Everybody loved him an Iron Man. Everybody loved him an Incredible Hulk. All scientific reasons reasons why they had their powers. You know who wasn't popular back then? Dr. Stephen Strange. Yep. Why? Mysticism. Because mystical arts. mystical arts. People were like, oh, he's a fucking wizard. Yank, yank. I'm done. I'm going to go read Spider-Man now. Mm. Mysticism is well, too much for most people to like handle. You and I, Nick, that were intrigued by that kind of thing. But oh, oh. most people... I see now want to see scientifically empowered people fighting bad guys. Because they can, they think, okay, and even when the science is wrong, right. people are more prone to be okay with it here but, in America. But you think like, about Japanese culture. Let me give you some wrong science. Let me give you some hardcore wrong science. One day, Peter Parker went to a science exhibit where they tested moving atomic rays from one side of the room to the other because science and a spider went down in between the rays and was irradiated, okay? One, if the spider is irradiated, there are two things that happen to the spider. One, it dies horribly and is incinerated instantly. Or two... It does somehow live through the radiation, and it goes over to bite Peter Parker. Why? Because it just got irradiated, and it's probably like... Ah! Nope, nope, you're wrong. Completely feasible. Second part of the science that doesn't work, a couple of different things happen to Peter Parker at this point. Three possibilities. One, it bites Peter Parker, and it's so fucking irradiated that it passes the radiation on to Peter Parker, and Peter Parker dies as if he was at... Fucking the the blast point of the atomic bomb. That one looks way better than that one. Two. There's another thing that's possible here. The spider bites Spider-Man, and you know what happens? Nothing. Because the amount of energy, the amount of radiation that would come from a fucking spider... that one. i seen it. The okay. amount of radiation that would come from a spider would be the equivalent of me walking across the living room right now and absorbing the radiation that comes from my fucking television set. That's science in comic books. And even if it makes no sense... That makes you TV, man. Yeah, even if it makes no sense at all, my we're more prone to believe a scientific, quote-unquote, reasoning Whereas... than we are to understand what they tried to change Spider-Man to that he was always destined to become Spider-Man, and that spider was not scientific, it was mystical. And Spider-Man is tied to the web of reality. And that web has to have a Spider-Man present in every reality, so the spider chose him. Now, th think about all that. Now think about Japanese culture, Shane, where the Power Rangers came from. They're, all of their culture is heavily based on mysticism, Number one, everybody's all about ninjas, right? So, so because these suits are technologically um, advanced, with, uh, and, uh, that's why they look like armor suits. That is what we. Yeah. That is what. That is what we have come to. That's and because people want technology, technology, technology. Well, I to feel. Understand. I feel like then the I understand public... why the. I understand why the suits look like that. So. Right. And that's that's exactly why I let it go, because in my opinion, we were always headed in this direction for the American Power Rangers. The only reason we haven't done it yet is because we're still using their footage. If we weren't using their footage, we would have changed the Power Ranger costumes a decade ago. Yeah. So, the suits don't bother me. They really don't. My, I, I think the morphers suck, and I think like the power coins suck. But the overall suit doesn't bother me. 
this fucking Diablos looking motherfucker. <laughs> um, you mean you mean uh, Optimus Prime, Michael Bay Optimus Prime, Diablos? Stop it! No, this is not Diablos. Diablos Prime, dude! Ah, ah. Stop it! Stop insulting <laughs> a great summon in Final Fantasy. Stop insulting <laughs> Optimus Prime, damn it! <laughs> Next picture. There is that better? Does that make you feel better? Whatever the fuck that, that is. That T-Rex uh, looks way better than the last one. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that that T-Rex looks way cooler than that toy I just dude, witnessed. Dude, that, dude, that Triceratops And that Triceratops awesome. is badass. Dude, look at that pterodactyl look, look there. And look, at the, and look at the saber tooth. And look, there's no mastodon. I like how I went to make a, 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 a shitty comment, like, does that make it better, Shane? It actually made it a lot better. This looks really cool. These, these yeah. Toys look um, way dude, these toys are up, so awesome up, that the up. Black Ranger didn't get one. Yeah, I was these about not... to say, did anybody else notice that there's no Mastodon? This, is, no also, Mastodon. this is also hardcore. Um, it's a hardcore edited, like, fan thing, because look at the Ranger suits. They're the old ones. Yeah, they're the old suits. Yeah, this was part of the stack that Seth... Shared so. Yep. So next picture since this is edited, next. Can't really based off of this. Oh, okay. Are we done with these? Yep, I we're done we with are. the first set of toys. Oh so man, rating this. This now? was a hardcore no, no. negative episode. Should, I don't think this needs to be rated. We we more or less just discuss the upcoming Power Rangers stuff yeah, until. I'm, I have a feeling that rating on this thing would be awful. And since I'm there's no fucking way I'm about to put this into one of our countdowns. Enjoy the standalone video. In that fact, we hate. That's another issue all on its own, and I hate to open the floodgates further because damn it, we're drowning in the in the creek right now, and the water is rising. But you know what? Technically, is after we're done with costumes and robots and bikes now, and common <laughs> rider <laughs> toys. Seth. Yeah, I know, I know. Have we already gone through toys? So we have long? not. No, we've only mentioned a toy every now and then during reviews. But if we actually was to go through and talk about the legacy of the toys behind this series, some toys are really cool. Some toys are hard to find images of, too. Actually, we have help with that, because I could literally get on the Sentai Review and say, send me images of them toys, and they would help us do that, to Here's, be fair. I said some, not, <laughs> not all. I'm going to make a closing comment. Just here. remember, if Bill does uh, send the action <laughs> call, just <laughs> fandomnight.com. Where I spent almost all of last night updating everything. It was pretty sweet. Thank you. Gonna, I fell asleep waiting for Bill so maybe we could play RE6. I'm just uh, going to make this comment. Uh, after seeing what I've seen today. <laughs> this garbage. Oh, God, the Dragon Zord. Oh, man, he's right. Oh, God. Because the Dragon Zord has to be bulkier, at least by the fundamentals that we were given before. He should be bulkier and bigger than the Tyrannosaurus. How, how, how much are they going to screw us over? The size of the Megazord. Yeah, it uh, fought the Megazord. I have, I have something I want to, I want to, I want to ask you, everybody here. Go ahead. And that is, we have seen what the T Rex looks like. We've seen what the Megazord is going to look like. <laughs> we have seen what the suits look like, what the morphers look like, what the power coins look like. And his sword. And the swords. Oh they, now the only thing we haven't seen. Is the other four rangers what theirs are going to look like? But I was trolling earlier. Y'all know that that red that T Rex actually hurt my eyes uh, because, like you guys said, it looked like somebody ripped the fucking skin off of it, and it looks like it's just muscle. That's gross. Look nasty, actually. My biggest thing is I tried to look for its eyeballs. I couldn't find them. Well, that's because they're, they're he's got a glass. But dome. he had but he had something on the front. Of his face, I his nose. Yeah, I could not figure the fuck what the fuck that was, so I just gave but, up. <laughs> Look, I gave up. But Shane, it's, the easier, con- it's easier to yell Tyrannosaurus when you morph than menstrual shit. But when you <laughs> <laughs> now people have now people have been bashing this movie either by the suits, by what by 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 the uh, Megazord and everything. My question to you is this: Do you guys think that if the storyline is good for this movie? You can look past the shit. Okay, hang on. Here's my question. Gonna, can you? I'm gonna answer the. I'm gonna. I'll answer your question first. All right. A lot of these kinds of series are based on the combination of the visuals with the storyline. He just did it for me. I don't even have to. Okay. I don't even have to make the point. So this storyline could be like Civil War level storytelling. 
Okay. But if the visual but conception the visuals, is not right, uh, you know, suck the back of my asshole. You know what? How do you really no, feel no, no, about no. the '95 Hold movie? On. Then no, to really put this down. No, here's why the '95 movie works. Multicolors, as ridiculous as the costumes work, you know one of the things they did that's a massive throwback that is necessary, and I'm just, I can't believe I'm about to do this, but it's true. Morphing makes you vogue. Yes, but here's my question. It's important. That no, cheesiness, know. they have to make poses. Yep. They have to look a certain way. Yes, they have to be definitive in their in morphing, their presence. Can you force? Now, can here, you force? Here's you my just thing. did it. Here's my thing. Now, storyline can be fantastic, but it's like you said, the visuals. So we already know that the T-Rex looks like crap. You know the why toy, they work so well the in the comic books? Because the comic books make sense. Yeah. Every single page is a vogue. Let me ask you this. Yep. Let me ask you this then. The 95 movie, did you actually like it? Yes. Did, the, did you like the villain in Ivan News? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed now, him. Now, you all know that I hate those fucking crappy-ass costumes. Yes, yes. But you liked them. Now, the, now do you... So, they're, they're, the suits were... Fine. Now, Am I over here stroking my dick to him? No, not did you even like, close. Did you like the ninja co costumes? Ninja? Well, they, when they you got mean their... when they put cloth around yeah, their face yeah. and acted like they were ninjas? Yes. I thought it was very close to what I see, like, you know, five-year-olds do for Halloween. What did you think about the you know, Megazord Halloween. at the end? The, 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 two ro the robot shit. What did you think about that? I thought that as bad as it looked, I believed that those Zords went together in that fashion... And for as yeah. bad as it looked, the crappy CGI, it still somehow matched the atmosphere of what Rangers were. Would yes. you like this movie if they did everything the '95 movie did? Storyline was decent, villain was decent, costumes are okay, but the Megazord part is awful. No, the reason I say no is because what is a major point? For every episode of Power Rangers ever. Half the damn Magic episode. Wand, make my monster grow. And if that part of the movie doesn't work, 50% of your movie has failed. And it doesn't even matter if it's the last 10 minutes. 50% of every single episode, what we were do what were we doing? We were waiting for the Megazord. Now, and if that is the fucking Megazord, they better impress the hell well, out of me. We saw the other I saw the other picture of the other toy that I seen. That was a hundred times better. That looked better, I yes. But is it good for a Megazord that looks like they literally well, have to break I bet their you, robots? I'm gonna tell you right take, now. If you take apart, I think that image. If you take apart, like especially made. If you take apart five prehistoric version. creatures, and when you put them together, like we had in the original series. That worked. We knew what the saber tooth and the triceratops were. Yeah, but we all knew what think they did. About this, Shane. The, what did the saber toothed tiger do when it transformed? It, it pulled its legs in, broke its neck, and became the and became the leg. Shoved its foot in his ass, and that's yep. how it was a leg. Yep. Right. Same thing okay. with the triceratops. With this, they ripped the fucking pterodactyl's wings off and threw it on the T Rex's back. They ripped its face off and are using it for a hand. Like the pterodactyl didn't come at didn't break into multiple parts to go on the original Megazord. No, it no. And landed in yeah, one chest it piece. was the chest armor. Right, I know that. I, I knew that part. But technically, the Mastodon acted as the armor for the unit, creating the arms and, a, and, and the shield and whatnot. And, and yeah, because the head was And the, the shield, pterodactyl yeah. protected the front. Yes. But the pterodactyl didn't give it wings. That in was fact, if you get technical, the way that most of, most of these things have worked, especially in our Power Rangers, there was a main Zord, and the rest of the Zords were armor. It was kind of like building the samurai. The, 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 the Tyrannosaurus was in the, the body. Thunder Megazord yep. type, and Spice everything else, the and the everything, and everything else came together, like, like he said, some samurai armor to make it what it is. Because it went like this, and shit attached to it. This thing is simple. A, this thing, this like, thing looks almost like it might be more based in a new age Michael Bay Voltron. This, this looks like an anorexic demon with the wings and everything. Yeah, but. Until, like he said, we can we we're, we're just speculating on how it comes together. When we see the movie, I'm gonna tell you how it comes together. Sense. They break up and they do the fucking. I, I don't want to keep bringing this up, but it's so fucking relevant to the way today is. And I know I'm fucking breaking his mind every time I do it. But did you see how the Transformers transformed? Yes. There was no legitimate possibility that that's. There's no way, the okay? The only one of those Transformers that ever made sense for his size, Transformers 1. Jazz, the one that 
Megatron ripped in half at the end, I could believe that he came out of a Pontiac Solstice. Bumblebee was not that big, realistically, coming out of a Chevy Camaro. It's kind of like last night I played Resident Evil, and I saw this guy, right? And he was literally the size of a guy, like Shane. And somehow his skin split open. And then he became a giant, two-story tall, Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I shot him with a missile, Shane. And all of that Tyrannosaurus Rex sucked back into itself, and he became a guy again. And my comment to this amazing sight that I had witnessed was, please explain the physics of that situation to me Thank you. now. Here's my problem. You stop oh, viewing right these here. plot holes, and you just enjoy the here, shit that they no, give no, you. No, no, no. Here's, my, here's my problem, though. We grew up on original Power Rangers, right? Right. Yes. Yep. The physics, as outlandish as they were, worked. The Mastodon did not change size to join into the Megazord. The Tyrannosaurus did not change size. Proof is in the toy. Yeah. I like, I put that toy together so many times. Okay. So here's my problem. With that thing, that anthropomorphic, diseased, optimus, devil, prime, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> no. With as slender as it is, yeah. the T Rex, there's no part of it that's there except they made they splashed some red paint. Yeah, I don't like how it looks because it doesn't match the five. Here's, here's what's probably gonna happen. You remember in that trailer when they were when they went into the, when they touched the morphing grid for the first time? Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna summon the fucking Megazord, their Zords are going to dematerialize, and that thing is going to rematerialize. You know, here's something, and I, I don't know I don't know if I don't know if I can get this to happen, but I'm curious about something. I would like to actually bring someone into this podcast for one reason. You have nostalgia. You watched it. I have nostalgia. I watched it. You and you and you have nostalgia. We watched it. You know who didn't even see Power Rangers until about a year and a half ago? You. What do you think about these? Crappy. A one-word assessment of everything she's seen. Because she's seen all the same pictures we did. She's been in the room almost every review we do. She doesn't talk often, but she's here for most of these episodes. They for suck. Yeah. That's so, all that needs to be said. They suck. They fuss suck. Fuss suck. So you have nothing really ex expanding to say, I mean, or anything? Nothing I mean, that you guys haven't said already. Because I'm just curious. I, I got. I, let me ask. Let me ask her one question. Pull the pictures back up. Who was your favorite ranger in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? The green. Other than Tommy, okay, out of well, these five, the green one, the original five. Who was your favorite? I like Zack a lot too. Okay. Does that invoke memories of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for Not you? Not at all. There's your. The most unbiased answer we have. She hates how the Black Ranger looks. I mean, she's new to Rangers, and she's seen she's seen a, a good, a pretty good portion of it going up now, as I watch it in here sometimes with Gwen and whatnot. And she's not even dedicated in the way that we are, where we've watched like every episode going up type of thing. Multiple she saw times. like parts of them. She saw like she'd come in, watch four or five episodes, skip ne next four or five episodes, see four or five episodes. Which to be fair, you could do with the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, because there wasn't a lot of continuity. Right. But this, like, here's your childhood in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And I'm gonna take it I'm gonna take inspiration from Michael Bay, and I'm gonna take a massive shit on these Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> For those of you who can't see, he actually did squat. <laughs> and shitting into shit. Here's a, this is the problem with Hollywood today. One of them with these reboots. Okay. Which I, soon the next one you hear the next one coming out before he even goes into this. I posted it for you so that you could enjoy it too. Rambo has got a director and an actor. They're going forward. New yeah, reboot. I Rambo. commented on that too. Right. But here's my problem with these reboots. Let's take one that everybody in this room is a fan of. A reboot that everybody liked. The Kelvin Universe for Star Trek. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's Star Trek. The actors do a good job of portraying the characters that they're supposed to, but it's Star Trek Wars. Right. Because new moviegoers today could would not be able to sit through two and a half hours of scientific jargon. <laughs> he's he's kind of right, no okay. joke. Especially so, with the way Marvel's cranking them out right now. Now let's 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 look at another reboot that nobody liked. I haven't seen it. I can't comment on it. Okay, that tried to stay true to its to its roots without changing too much. Ghostbusters 2016. Oh, I watched that. Okay, they tried to stick to their roots, and it failed. Right? He's kind of right. Okay. They copied characters like there is an Egon in that movie. Like She's her. awful, but there's an Egon in that movie. They copied they copied Ray. She's awful, but there's a Ray like in turtles. that movie. Here's another one. Like Sydney just said, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Fantastic. That, that might have been the closest attempt. Yes, and I I love you internet for one reason. My turtles are mutants, not aliens from another fucking galaxy. Right. Wait, Thank wait, 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 wait. wait. Aliens. No. <laughs> Humans. Here's, here's the one that pisses me off the most. Here's the one that pisses me off the most. Are we still on this episode? Yeah. yeah. I drank three of these big ass things of tea already. Drink Michael, five. Michael Bay's Transformers. Okay? <sighs> the first movie I was willing to look past. I was I like, we okay. This again while you're here. Okay, he it's an origin movie. Fine. You only brought five of the Autobots to Earth. I don't know why you picked. Like, Optimus and Bumblebee I can understand, but the rest of them, whatever. Then the second movie came out. And then the third. And in the fourth, Optimus was riding Grimlock like he was some beast of burden, which he wasn't, but that's an argument I'll get into in another time. But Michael Bay progressively made those movies worse and made more money with each one. He certainly did. Yeah. Because guess what? Michael Blah Blah Explosion. People only <laughs> cared about it. Because there were big explosions and giant robots fighting each other. He could have just called it Transforming Robots. He changed the names and it still would have sold like fucking crazy. But instead, he cashed in on our childhood and shit all over it by slapping Transformers on it and calling the leader Optimus Prime. And he's explosion right. Explosion bots. And that's, that, is, that is a factor of the Hollywood gimmick that runs, especially nowadays, is you need to take something that worked before... And not so much do it again, but create high-octane explosions, uh, people running. It's good if you hire Will Smith for that, because he has to run in every movie he's ever made. I don't know why. And in his contract. I think it is. So, like, if you get people to run, blow stuff up, graft in some kind of CGI that's close enough, so maybe, but, I mean, maybe not there. You might you might get away with it, and and for for what it's worth, for anybody who who likes Star Trek, that watches the new movies and hates them, I understand why. Three movies. What has the Enterprise done? Get fucked. Can I answer it? Go ahead. Okay. In the first movie, it got it got well it didn't get destroyed but it couldn't handle the enemy because it sucked the enemy was stronger so it needs to go back and be repaired and refit yes okay let's go to movie 2 movie 2 they bring a uh, dreadnought class starship and it gets completely fucking wrecked oh so to now it's got to go to a point where it starts falling to our planet and spoiler alert Kirk had to die to get it to come back online right. and it was all fucked up so they have to Re, 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 repair it and refit it and bring it back out? Yes. Okay. Number three? Now, the third movie, it gets completely fucking wrecked. Wow, holy shit. Wrecked. So then they're going to have to, I don't know, build another one? And it's, and gonna it's have called to, the and, A. And it looks exactly the same, by the way, which kind of pisses Actually, me off. Actually, I didn't. I just recently watched it. I did, too. And I, did you notice it? My, did you notice it's a it? little thicker. The neck is short. The, the, neck, they brought the, the neck, neck is down. shorter, yep. and it's a little thicker. So it, they can't cut the throat anymore. Because they brought the saucer closer. Uh, Basically what so. these movies do, the original movies gave us something to argue about, okay? Even if you want it, I'll even do it with what people consider to be the movie that ended Star Trek that's supposedly a terrible movie. Which? Nemesis. I like that one. If we want to talk about Nemesis, the bad guy was questionable. He was a bad guy. 
but he was also fighting for the independence of an entire race, and he was dying, and there was one way to save his life, quite literally, one way to save his life, and should the leader of an entire people who quite literally need this man in order to be a free society dies, their freedom might go with him. So they are willing to be villains and kill Picard to basically siphon his blood into the other guy so that the other guy can live. Picard will die, but you know what? Picard's already had his life. Now, is this right? No. But I will also bid the question to you that most of the times when societies rise up, especially societies that have been held down, is what they do necessarily right in the eyes of the ones that take the punishment? Never. So you can argue at least some ideal of what was going on. You'll legitimately come to an understanding at some point that he was a dick, okay? And it, it, he, whatever he was doing was never going to succeed anyway. But put that same argument to Nero. Nero's planet was destroyed. Okay, that's sad shit. We'll give it that. But now let's move forward. Let's take him into the past. One, he knows he's in the past. He knows Romulus still exists. What does he choose to do? Blow up Vulcan. He didn't, well, he chose to, because Spock failed his planet, failed his race, caused his wife and child to die. Hold on. Hold on. Before you even go to that, Spock failed his planet because the dude's son blew up. Okay? I'm not, I'm not any kind of scientist, but should my son explode? I can't necessarily blame that on Seth. Here's the problem. Well, unless, Nero, hungry, damn but Nero unless, did. Unless Seth was like, I can fix this. Because, but even then, you still can't blame even him. Even if Seth says, I can fix it, it is still legitimate in science that his son was going to blow up and... I'm sorry, but maybe being in the future the way they were and having all this technology they and knowing the fuck that the out planet there. was going to fucking blow up because the sun was going to blow up, maybe they should leave. <laughs> look, so, look so I'm here's in the, the past thing. now. I just know to buy more duct tape. No, he all. knows he's in the past. Instead of going and telling them, hey, not but like 120 years from now, kablooshity blow, right? He doesn't do that. Instead, he says, I'm going to bitch about this for the next 25 years. In 25 years' time, he managed to cry, bitch, moan, Blow up whine, the um, destroy a ship. He, only, he also got in prison and destroyed a whole lot of birds of prey. Which is also bullshit, because if that ship is that strong, the Klingons could not have taken that ship by force and then did nothing with it. The Kelvin disabled it when the Kelvin ran into it. That's, that's, the, that's the plot. Impossible. The Klingons, here's another thing for you. Kirk says it, Kirk says it before, and by the way, we're nearing war with the Klingon Empire, and the Klingons don't like the Romulans. The Klingons don't take prisoners. Well... I, you, we got what we got, so we have to follow, no. we, even no. if it doesn't no, make sense. No, because I'm making the argument towards the people that don't like this idea, that it's changed, that it's not Star Trek. This and while I, Power Rangers, while I enjoy it, while yes, I enjoy it, it is, the Sentai review, yes. but this is legitimate to the Sentai review. If they're going to change something so dramatically, we went from flashy suits, mystical energies, a wizard in a jar thing <laughs> and what we're going to do what we're going to do with this idea then we take uh dinosaurs that look like they come from a godzilla movie which by the way is still profitable they just made a new fucking godzilla film so don't tell me it won't sell here in america next we take though all those concepts, we put them together, we add some space wizards and weird shit, we and then we call we it we Power Rangers, it. and we vogue the shit up out of every battle scene. Now, take that concept. Give me angsty teens, 
Uh, I would like, I would like, uh, maybe some emo shit. Can I get some whining? Maybe some suicide hotlines. Um, if I could get some jail breaks, possibly probation. Uh, that, that should do for my teens. Now, take those teens, put them in Michael Bay Transformers, blow shit up, and let them wear Iron Man costumes, and I promise you that most of the kung fu will probably be done outside of the costumes. Once in the costumes, it'll probably be a lot of running and cutting through people and shooting lasers and doing fancy, flashy CGI weapon attacks. And straight punches. Now... Put those two shows side by side and tell me that the people that grew up with it are going to admire it. Just like the people nope. that grew up with Star Trek, how many of them really love the new Star Trek? There are a handful. No, I may have not, I, I did not grow up with the original Star Trek, as you know. I mostly grew up with Next Generation. But I have not seen all of the original series, but I have seen enough to give my uh, to give an opinion. If I were to grow up with, like, if I was living in my parents' time and I grew up with the original series, and if I watched the new series, I'd be like, well, that's not Star Trek because they're not talking scientific anymore. They're just running and gunning. But it's also the philosophy that's missing. The yep. philosophy. They're not asking any questions. The bad guys in the new Star Trek, and keep in mind, I like the new Star Trek movies. But the difference here is that Star Trek, questions to be asked. New Star Trek, he's oh, a dick. Else? Yep. Every single bad guy is like something out of Star Wars. They may as well wear black and white. Yep. That was how Star Wars determined its villains. Quite literally, watch it again. The bad guys are black and white and gray as if you were watching them on an actual... Not color television. They were done that way on purpose so that all the heroes would stand out and they would pop with their browns and yellows and oranges and shit like the that. The worst colors to pop. I'm not saying that it's right, but look at them. Lando wears sky blue. Yeah, I know. I obviously know by watching Han the... Solo ran around in like black with a giant yellow stripe. I, from watching all of Solo. The... From watching all of the Star the Star Wars movies, I could I can I can sit there and I can tell you, good guy, bad guy. And you could do that with Star Trek now. Oh, yeah, easily, easily, I can do that. But as a yeah. fan of Star Trek, like well, you, I don't have a problem with the new stuff because I know that if I really want to go back to the, what Star Trek is, I can just watch what you own. Right. And n nowadays, we all know that it's basically like you said, Star Wars. In the Enterprise, and is that technically a bad thing? It's not. For they make for fun, fast movies. For hardcore uh, Trekkies out there, they don't like it because, like you said, there's no philosophy, there's no thinking. They just do, 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 They're do, do. They're not boldly going where no man has gone before. They're going exactly where they've already been, shooting stuff and getting <sighs> fucked on. Yeah. Now the inter now, like, and I haven't seen the Enterprise hold its own even one time in this new the continuity. Enterprise, the Enterprise, and the, it seems like when the Kelvin universe, when the Kelvin went down, because the Enterprise in the original series was based off the Kelvin design, it seems like when they added more high-tech gizmos and gadgets to the Enterprise... The Kelvin weakened. was the most advanced ship under the Federation with weapons and weapons and scientific advancements that had not yet been implemented into a lot of ships. So when the Kelvin was destroyed... It changed the timeline, and they started refunding all of their time and efforts into military advancement because they thought something was coming for that ass. No. Kind of like how we did later in Star Trek when we saw, what are those things? Resistance is futile? Let's start building ships. Now, wait, wait. That's how the now, class was born. now, when you go on about the Enterprise, how in the new Calvin universe that it gets destroyed in every movie. The original movies, it lasted like, what? Three, four movies before the Enterprise got destroyed? It lasted... No, the original you Enterprise... Mean, no, here's the, the argument. No, 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 no. No, from the original no, movie. Hold on. Here's the argument, though. The original Enterprise lasted five years under another captain, was transferred to the care of another captain, lasted another five or six years, then was refit and casted to the care of James T. Kirk, where it went on a five-year mission to be docked, refit, put into the movie, where it spent... 19 years in service before it went for a second refit, which is actually like its fourth or fifth refit, 
Then it went to movie two where it was damaged and they were told, hey, we're not fixing it. It's going to be a museum ship. So Kirk, without fixing it, stole it. In the third one. To go into the third movie, and he still managed to knock the shit out of a D five bird of bird of prey, and then then he that's destroyed the Enterprise. Got, that's when they self destructed. And the it. only reason that ship went down was because it was damaged before it went to battle. The Kelvin ship has existed for ten minutes. Let's blow holes in it. <laughs> On it its fucking first, launched when the it launched. first day. It launched. It went to Vulcan and got butt fucked. Yep. It got. It was getting shot at, and that's. And the only reason why it didn't get destroyed is because Nero saw the fucking hole, and it said Enterprise is like stop. Otherwise, had he just fucking let them shoot the second volley, Enterprise done. Let's move on. That is the only reason. Fucking yep. movie's done. For, remember, you know how the Titanic. Two shots remember the Titanic would have destroyed first it. Voyage, it sunk. That was the Enterprise's first voyage. Almost got destroyed. So let's let's skip two years ahead and go on our next voyage up oh, Dreadnought. How many ships has it successfully fought? How many enemies has it successfully defeated? The Enterprise. Zero. None. And the only and you can claim that Fuck, well, it was destroyed by fighter jets. It was destroyed by beams Kamikaze fighter jets. That flew in in in, in, in a synchronized the fashion. The fuck are the shields even for? <laughs> oh, dude, shields? No. They went right through those shields. And I realized that the third movie, it's pretty awesome, and they got that big swarm and shit like that. But look, the point is, that ship has accomplished nothing. If that is humanity's way to show that it is ready for deep space travel... Totally is. Don't you understand? That is the flagship of the Federation that keeps yeah, dying. You know what else it's kind of like how... Let's, let's be realistic here. Let's break down Star Wars for a second, and I realize we're on the Sentai Review, but let's be realistic. You take Star Wars, you take the Millennium Falcon. How many things did it successfully actually do that is credited only to the Falcon? I know, I know, I know. Let me answer. It made the, it made, it made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Which is impossible. Move on. Because that's a measure of distance. I know, I just wanted to say, because that's he what... He found a shortcut. Right. It helped destroy the second Death Star. But that was not, not by help. It helped. 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 He was, was part like, of a strike like the team. First one. If you're talking, like, standalone, one-on-one combat, it didn't... Because I can name a lot of things the Enterprise did by itself. Yeah. Oh, it... The Falcon did nothing. The Falcon didn't do anything. The Falcon got shot at. It got shot at. It lost shields. It uh, parked on a planet. It repaired itself. It uh, parked on another planet. It repaired Escaped itself. the asteroid snake. Right. Not, yeah. not that it wasn't awesome. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. I love Star Wars. The Millennium Falcon is awesome. But we took, Star we took the concept of the Millennium Falcon and made it the Enterprise. We blow it up and shoot at it every movie, and then we bring it back the next movie and show how it's still around. You know, that make, you, know not, you should be concerned about this. Because you've seen how the Constitution class in the Kelvin universe fails in every movie. You should be worried now about... Now all of a sudden, J.J. Abrams owns the Millennium Falcon in the new movies. You should be worried about the Excelsior class. Or the next... the next. Oh, I was thinking about the next Star Wars, like the next legitimate well, Star yeah, Wars where I'm they blow about, up the Millennium Falcon. But you heard in the third movie that they're working on a ship more advanced than the Enterprise. Let that's, me tell you something. That's your next... Kabloosh. I'm telling you. Kablooshity blow. They took a ship that is quite possibly the most recognizable vessel in the history of space opera, drama, science fiction ever, the Enterprise, and he blew it up in every single movie. Now he has control of the Falcon. And I thought Archer was boned in the NX-01. I'm watching that series The right NX now. held its own. The NX-01 hasn't been destroyed. They fucking got one of their... The cells fucked up, but so now we're gonna eventually take, now we're gonna take destroyed. Power Rangers and we're gonna play the same game that every movie is playing. And we're gonna plug it into that formula. We're gonna blow its arms off, probably break its kneecaps, uh, let it transformer roll and do arm sword cuts. Maybe it can turn into a truck and carry a trailer and transforms in ways that I can't even possibly fucking understand. Or believe, for that matter. My imagination cannot stretch uh, to the ideal that I believe the transformation that I have just witnessed in front of my eyes. See, and now that you say that, I'm immediately imagining that they go from MMPR for this movie to skip the Green Ranger, fuck Zed, we're going to go right to Turbo again. It's just that I feel like 
for everything that I've we've done, looking at the way the Megazord looks, it is built for a specific kind of movie. You can look at it. I think it's also built for a specific kind of audience as well. Exactly. And that is exactly what I'm getting at. It this You can look right Basically, at it. It is built for the Michael Bay audience. Everybody in this room is old enough to have grow, grow, grew up with the original Power Rangers. So there's a nostalgia factor in all of us. Now, when we go when we go when we go see this new movie, we just have to have an open mind and know that's not our Rangers. This is a whole it don't matter their names Jason, that, Zach, Kimberly, that is Billy. That's a great idea, Shane. But you know what? I went into Transformers 2 with that same thought in my head. And I still came out of that theater. <clears throat> We're going to come out of this I fucking hate you, Michael Bay. I I promise you, child. I promise you. We're going to come out of that theater and we're going to bitch. I understand that. But we're going to but we're going in there knowing it's probably going to be a terrible movie. I will say this. I will be watching this movie in the theaters because I forfeit my right to say that movie's so bad, I'm not even going to see it. Nope. I watched the Fantastic Four. And, and Dragon Ball Dragon Evolution. Ball and Evolution Dragon Ball theaters. Evolution. And you watched Ghostbusters. And Ghostbusters 3. So, so if I watch those three movies in the theater, yeah, I'm going to go see this, whether it be good or bad. And if it pleasantly surprises me, thank God. Because so far the trailer is not horrific. The worst thing I have seen so far of this movie has been the toys. But 50% of the idea to me is the Megazord, and that Megazord looks awful. It looks like something right out of a Bay movie. And I'm positive it's going to be jumping, rolling, cutting, explosions, and how? You know... The original and, Megazord could barely walk. And that says a lot, coming from a guy that originally watched the Tyrannosaurus climb out of a volcano, and somehow the Mastodon got there at the same time. <laughs> Okay, and still I'm sitting here saying, I don't know if my imagination will allow me to see that Michael Bay Transformers thing as my Megazord. And I have seen legitimate third-party designs of the Megazord that look great. In fact, the most recently, recent one that I, that I got to witness was Megazord versus Voltron. I think it was done Machinima. That Megazord looks great. Tremendous. Looks fantastic. I was very blown away by it. Voltron looked great too, to be fair. I'm not I'm not contradicting that. But then I see this. I'm noticing that and this is a problem, Hollywood, so pay attention real careful. If anybody, anybody watches the Sentai review that has any ties back to Hollywood. Open thine ears. Listen carefully. When the porn industry can choose actors and actresses and costumes that match the material better than you do, you have fallen behind. Pick your dicks up. Start walking faster. You're welcome for that movie, by the way. No, I'm not just talking about that. The turtle porn? I'm not just talking about that. I'm being... Uh, look at Look at most recently... And I, there was there was a fucking Harley Quinn that was casted for the Suicide Squad porno movie. She looks like Harley Quinn, acts like Harley Quinn, sounds like Harley Quinn. I've yet to see the actual movie. It was one of those fucking previews on a podcast I watched. But I was like, what? Because porn got it right? Porn got it right. Oh, Bill, porn has come a long way. But... Hollywood somehow fucked it up. You would know all about that, wouldn't you? Shane? We got, we got slicked story. back Joker hair man with tattoos. The porno movie got a crazy looking skinny dude with a big nose painted white. Because everybody with wild hair, watches and he porn fucks Harley Quinn for the movie. Kind of strange the that movie. they got it right. Kind of strange, and this is not the only time this has happened. I released on our site on Fandom Night. I did this. I did this a while ago. Go to our website. There's porn. No, there's not. But I. But I really did this. I really did this not too long ago, just to prove a point. I purposely put down 17 images, and I didn't tell the people where it was coming from. I. I. I put 
Hollywood versus porn, which one of these two are better? And almost everybody, oh, yeah. even you seen it? No, no were, I, I know no, another yep. case with the the Marvel porn parodies. Yep, where the actual costumes look better and closer to the source material. And if they could have taken those costumes, if porno can get those costumes, Hollywood could have got those costumes, and at least better actors would have been wearing the costumes. And this is where I'm getting, is that somehow Hollywood is so disconnected from its own fan base that it doesn't even know what it's making anymore. It really has no idea. It's like, hey, uh, people like this, right? Yeah, people love that. Oh. What if they were like... Aliens. Aliens. What do you mean? Like, you know, instead of turtles, they could be aliens. That goes, whole, all, that goes against the source material. No, but they could crash land in the sewers. That does, no. Perfect. No. Sir Perfect. The, Prince. Sir, the, sir, the They're internet. supposed to be mutated. Sir, the internet. Oh. Well, what do they know, really? More than we do. Nope. Call Michael Bay. We'll see about this. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, as long as there's explosions, I don't care if they're mutant turtles or aliens. Just fucking go with it. Right, and this is what I'm getting at. Like, I don't know what is happening that Hollywood could be so outrageously they're disconnected get, from their I can fan tell bases. You what's happening. They're getting offered. These... They're still getting their money. And yes. They don't give a shit. They about don't. You. They don't care. But about every what... now and then, every now and then, they hit it out of the park. Like most recently, they did Doctor Strange. He looks the part. He acts the part. It was a great movie, and I was genuinely impressed. I said, holy shit. Actually, they speaking of that, as as a person who's been looking forward to this movie when they were like, by the way, yeah, we're actually bringing him to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I was like, fucking sweet. Oh, Jesus, how are they going to pull this off? Because if you read the comics for Doc Strange, he yells incantations at people like... By the hoary hosts of Hogath. Yeah. And the the protective wings of Vishnu. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck are they going to do this on screen without him looking like a jackass? Exactly. They did it so phenomenally good. I was surprised. I went in with high hopes. Not only was I not disappointed, I feel like I didn't give it enough hope. And it's time for Bill to go to work. Time for me to go to work. Bill's got to go to work. Uh, I guess so. Later on. Hey, guys. Did you like that podcast? If so, remember to check out FandomNight.com. At FandomNight.com, you can drop a line to this show, or you can check out other podcasts as well. We cover all kinds of topics, everything from comic books, wrestling, movies, TV shows, video games, animes, mangas, it's outrageous. We seem to have a podcast for just about everything, and you have access to it just by going over to FandomNight.com. So check it out, guys. We're going to get out of here.